Tonight, we know more about the man. Police say got into a shootout with troopers on I-15 in Joab County, injuring a bystander. Police say they found nine pounds of meth inside the car James Klein was driving. And this wasn't the first time he's been in trouble with the law. In March of last year, he was charged in a shooting in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Tonight, law enforcement experts say Klein should not have been on the streets to begin with. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher joins us live in studio tonight. Lauren, what did you find out? Yeah, Kelly and Bob, the deeper that we dug into Klein and his history, the more it raised questions over what went wrong in a Minnesota court that allowed Klein to walk free here in Utah. The situation was shocking to see. A chase, a full-fledged manhunt. Man, I think we want to be Further north. A completely closed down I-15. Shocking to hear about the stolen patrol SUV with a canine inside. Stolen police rifle. Shootout. Innocent person hit. Oh, and nine pounds of meth and a gun with an altered serial number discovered in a car. But perhaps the most shocking was to learn. Outrageous. The man accused of all this, James Klein, is a convicted felon from Minnesota who allegedly just last year. He was in a shootout with officers in the parking lot of a Walmart, a circumstance where he was walking into the store to buy large quantities of ammunition. This guy uh, just reeks of danger. Jim Winder, former Salt Lake County Sheriff and former Chief of Investigations for the Salt Lake County DA, may be retired, but he's been following the story closely. Court documents reveal Klein is awaiting trial in that Minnesota Walmart shootout, but he bailed out with no conditions imposed on him by the court. When you've already been in a shootout and you've been convicted of these other offenses, you've got no business walking the streets of communities. Otherwise, people can die. So that to me is a conversation that we need to be having. That conversation, Winder says, should center around criminal justice reform. Mr. Klein is a classic example of someone who has slipped through a great deal of cracks. So that a convicted felon awaiting trial for a police shootout in Minnesota doesn't end up on a Utah interstate, putting lives here in danger. A lot of people asked yesterday, how did Klein allegedly steal that patrol SUV? Well, we learned through court documents that the deputy or one of the two deputies was interviewing Klein as Klein was in the passenger seat when he somehow took control and took off. Live in the studio, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah. Lauren, thank you. Authorities also arrested a woman yesterday. Jennifer Huang is also from Minnesota. They say she was riding in the car with Klein and gave a fake name and social security number. She is also not permitted to have a firearm.